Scary Mysteries Twisted Twos, Exorcism of Joanna Lee, and Crystal Skull's Mystery. Tales of hauntings, murder, and scary mysteries. Every week, Twisted Twos dives into a pair of uniquely terrifying true stories that are worthy of a more in-depth look. For this week, we focus on a terrifying exorcism of a young woman and the mystery behind the Crystal Skulls. Get ready for Scary Mysteries Twisted Twos. Number 1. Exorcism of Joanna Lee Exorcisms are usually performed in the hopes of banishing some evil spirit, but sometimes it can turn deadly. To understand what happened during the tragic exorcism of Joanna Lee, it's best to know the life of her pastor, Luke Lee. Despite having the same last name, the two aren't related. Luke Lee first arrived in New Zealand in 1994. He left behind a wife and children in Seoul, Korea, including his various shady business dealings. Luke entered New Zealand using a student visa, studying at the Assemblies of God Advanced Ministry of Training Center. Here he met his wife, Joyce Lee, a Korean that had settled in Auckland. After he completed his training, he went to London before returning to Korea, where he was arrested and imprisoned for fraud for one year. After he got out, he said he heard voices in his head. They told him to return to New Zealand, particularly in Mount Rosekill, and start up his church. Once there, he became an Assemblies of God pastor and started a church called the Lord of All Church. It had a small following made up of mostly Koreans and homeless people from Auckland, although the main church of Assemblies of God did review who they ordained as a pastor, they weren't too picky. They didn't mind having Luke Lee head the church despite his criminal past, delusional behavior, and unusual ways. Originally, there was an assistant pastor, Michael Hamilton, who led the church with Lee, but he left in January of 2000. He also reported to the head of the Assemblies of God regarding Lee's physical interventions, but this was unheard. As Pastor Luke Lee began his ministry, one quiet member of his church was Joanna Lee, who was 37 years old at the time. She was a loner who had no relatives in the area. She was also Korean and was once a member of a similar Christian cult when she was in Korea. Six weeks after joining the church, Pastor Luke decided Joanna needed to be exercised. The exorcisms were usually performed in Pastor Luke's home. They were noisy affairs with lots of ex-hoarding, drumming, horns, chanting, and more. According to the pastor, Joanna was inhabited by 20 demons, and if these weren't exorcised, it would result in her death. Many said Joanna herself was infatuated with the pastor and agreed to the exorcism as a way to be closer, even win his affection. Once the exorcism began, there was no stopping it. The pastor had it in his mind that the demons lived in the stomach, and the best way to lure them out was with force and physical pain. As the members led the drums, horns, and chanting, Joanna lay down on a mattress on the floor. Soon the pastor began chasing out the demons by jumping on Joanna's stomach. Occasionally, he would also sit down on her. Then he said the demons had moved up to her throat. To push them out, he began strangling her. Joanna began to realize the exorcism was putting her life in danger. She started struggling and yelling, no, no. But the members and the pastor ignored her, interpreting her words as those from the demons. The members instead held her down after a prolonged struggle, blood ran from Joanna's mouth, and she stopped breathing. By the end of the night, despite Joanna having stopped breathing, the pastor and the church members didn't seem to think there was anything wrong. Pastor Luke headed upstairs to bed with his wife. Meanwhile, others went home, while some fell asleep in the lounge. On Sunday, the pastor headed to church service as usual. The members were there, along with Joanna's dead corpse. They carried on as if nothing was wrong and fully expected Joanna to be resurrected. They waited for five days, dancing and quoting the Bible around her, with the pastor even blowing into her mouth to await her return from the afterlife. On the sixth day, they rejoiced because they saw her fingers blackening and her skin lightening. In reality, her skin was starting to peel off. Thinking there was a miracle happening, 
Pastor Lee began videotaping everything so they could capture Joanna's resurrection. He also invited a neutral witness, the pastor's neighbor, Edwin Muir. He was supposed to be somebody who represented the rest of humanity. Once Muir was in the flat, he knew right away something was wrong. He smelled the scent of a decomposing body from the lounge, and once he saw Joanna, he quickly rushed out and called police. Authorities arrived shortly after and found the body. Pastor Lee begged them to give them a few days so they could pray over Joanna's body so she could return. He also insisted she wasn't dead and was just sick or sleeping. Despite his pleas, though, Pastor Luke Lee was arrested and charged with manslaughter. During the trial, the pastor represented himself and again said God told him to do it. He also believed Joanna would come back to life. In his closing statement, he even offered a time and date for Joanna's resurrection as December 9, 2001 at midnight. But the date came and went. Joanna Lee's body had been cremated 12 months earlier. The pastor's members all deserted him, and on his sentencing, only his wife and daughter were at his side. Luke Lee was sentenced to six years in jail for manslaughter, and the judge excused the jurors from service for another three years because the evidence was so horrific. Lee appealed his case, citing Joanna consented and knew of what could happen. Surprisingly, the New Zealand court agreed with him. Regardless, by the time he made the successful appeal, he was already released out of prison and then deported back to Korea. Although a retrial was ordered, it went nowhere after Pastor Lee and most of the witnesses and members of the church also returned to Korea. As for Joanna Lee's cremated ashes, they remain unclaimed. Number 2. Crystal Skull's Mystery Beautifully crafted, shiny, and stunning, the crystal skulls have long fascinated both modern and ancient man. Although there's an air of mystery attached to them, they're actually quite common. Thousands have been created in China, Brazil, and Germany, but there are a select few that have caused controversy among scientists, archaeologists, museum officials, and spiritualists. There are almost a dozen rare crystal skulls held in public and private collections that are said to be special. Some of these are made crystal clear, while others are crafted from smoky or colored quartz. There are small skulls, while others are human-sized and come in exquisite detail. These rare skulls are said to come from Mexico or Central America. While there are those who argue none of these rare crystal skulls are mystical in origin, there are those who believe in the ancient legends surrounding them. Native Americans believe in the existence of 13 ancient human-sized crystal skulls with movable jaws that spoke or sang. According to their story, these skulls were embedded with information about the mysteries of life and the universe. The Cherokee version says that originally there were 12 planets with human life and one skull made for each planet. The 13th skull was the key to connecting all of the worlds together. One day, in a great time of need, the crystal skulls will be brought back together to reveal the information needed for the survival of the human race. For years, the legends were dismissed as nothing but stories until an actual crystal skull was found in Central America during 1920. Known as the Mitchell Hedges Crystal Skull, it was discovered by the daughter of British explorer-adventurer Frederick Mitchell Hedges. Frederick Mitchell Hedges as they explored the jungles of British Honduras, now known as Belize. It was in 1924 when Mitchell Hedges stumbled on mounds of stone covered in thick vines and roots. They set fire to the undergrowth and it revealed the ruins of a once great city. The local Mayans called it Lubantan, or the City of Fallen Stones. One day, Mitchell Hedges' adopted daughter Anna saw something unusual. She pointed it out, and since she was the only one tiny enough to fit through the ruins, she went inside to look for the mysterious object. Anna found the perfect crystal skull buried underneath the altar of the ruins, and since then, the discovery of the skull has caused controversy. Nobody can seem to agree on how old it is exactly. Some say it's from the Mayan period, but Anna Mitchell Hedges and many others say that it could be much older and belong to a pre-Mayan civilization. Over the years, many have reported this particular skull as having unusual psychic and even healing powers. 
According to Anna, it gave her a long life. She had lived to be 100 years old and died in 2007. She said all through her life, the skull has given her good health and happiness. Anna had placed the skull on display in her home and allowed visitors to come and sit with it. Many reported being healed by the skull, while others said that it showed them visions. They also reported hearing soft chanting of human voices coming from it. Hence, it has gained the nickname of the talking or singing skull, just like in the old legend. Of course, while the Mitchell Hedges skull is the most popular, it's not the only one. Many crystal skulls are believed to have been created in the early 19th century, including a milky white rock crystal skull delivered anonymously to the Smithsonian. It's believed local artisans created skulls like this and sold them for profit. Some of the suspected locations it had come from include Germany and Mexico. Many of the skulls were found to have traces of etch marks indicating some mechanized rotary wheel used to create it. These marks, however, are not present with the Mitchell Hedges skull, save for a small portion near the jawline. Despite this, many still think that the Mitchell Hedges skull is a modern creation. Today, there are still those who are drawn to the mystery surrounding the crystal skulls. Some believe that they contain mystical powers and hold the secrets of the universe inside. Whatever the truth may be, there's no denying the allure surrounding these skulls is real. So there were two of the strangest and most mysterious stories around. The world can be a crazy place and Twisted Twos is sure to show you why. We have new videos coming out every Wednesday and Saturday. So if you enjoyed this one, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.